Hi, this is Shubham from Monis Liu and today in this podcast we're gonna discuss about why initiative you should take to educate your family about a personal finance. Over here we're gonna discuss about 5 simple key habits to enhance the personal finance knowledge to you as well as within your family. But before that if you want to read the full article about this in the link of article is provided in description. Also if you want to watch a quick summary video of less than 30 seconds about this episode then subscribe subscribe to our YouTube channel Monis Rio. Thank you. Now let's start. The social stigma around the money is a very strong. Many have felt embarrassed or even anxious when it comes to a discussing income or other topics on a personal finance. A lot of couple avoid or family in a family discussion and open conversation about a building a financial future together. Over here we are going to discuss a five initiative you should take to educate you and your family about a personal finance. The first one is a uh, all debts are not the same the stigma around the word debt is so strong that people often feel stressed to talk about even with their closest relations and family one of the major reason to break the taboo around the subject is not only to ease the mental burden that comes with it but also to educate the people about the debt within a family we cannot put all the debt in the same bracket some debts like a business loan student loan are powerful financial tools that help you to achieve your ambition. One should not be too quick to demonize the debt. Instead, one of should meticulously study at different times of loan terms, credit scores, interest rate to accumulate good money management habit for our finances. Moreover, debts are not all uncommon. At some point in their life, every person draw loan, which again could be for various reasons. However, it is a paramount to monitor and repay your loans to have a clean financial spreadsheet. It is a time to talk about debt without baggage and normalize fact that some debts are extremely valuable when appropriately managed. The second important point is providing independence to kids on a money matter. Indian parents are never too comfortable letting their kids independently manage their finances. But encouraging your children to become a financially independent is essential to build their future and confidence. Many parents even today support their children with monthly allowances and look after their personal finances well in their 30s or late 40s as well. However, as a difficult as it may seem to cut off your children and walk away when they need your support, you have to ask yourself if being too hopeful and supportive is detrimental for your children. It is unthinkable to many parents to let their kids manage finances without their guidance, but it is about to time to break this taboo and you should start that. The third important factor is discussing money matters with children. Some parents also find taboo to discuss money with their children but in today's world conversation about personal finance need not to be taken place behind a closed door in fact including your children in age appropriate conversations will help you to make them more responsible having healthy dialogue about finance encourages discipline and make a healthy saving and spending habits that said parent need not reveal every aspects of their bills and finances but teaching your kids early on the basics of taxes, how to pay bill, manage money can go a long way in ensuring they remain financially sound and never depend on anybody. The fourth important factor is not mandatory to leave your kids an inheritance. Another taboo revolving around the parent-children relationship is the fact that parents feel the compulsive need to leave their children some asset after they pass, no matter the number of sacrifice they go through as they live. While the general idea behind inheritance is nice and the parents intention also justified parents often hold on this long held tradition out of emotion and put their own well-being at stake for their children's future times are changing and children today would rather want their parents to live in a comfort than a struggle to provide for them later of course the choice of leaving an inheritance to your children is a personal but if you can't it's about time 
time to break the taboo. The fifth important factor is investing in financial instrument other than F. Many Indians have never been comfortable with the idea of investing in stock markets, mutual funds or even such kind of instrument. It is only in the past decade that Indians have started to look beyond the traditional investing options. Fixed deposits were considered safe and investing in other instrument attracted a negative attention from the family and friend but now is the time to break free from this taboo as well with advanced research expert options technology new new fintechs available and some risk management one can earn excellent returns from equity and various instruments now let's discuss what is the bottom line over here personal finance is a very important in individual life but is very important for family as well if you are a senior in your family then your personal finance forms a backbone of your family and that need to be known to every person if you want to read the full article about this the link of article is provided in description also if you want to watch a quick summary video of less than 90 seconds then subscribe to our youtube channel monist view over here shubham from monist view signing off thank you